At Care Patreon, we are constantly looking at ways to improve. If you have any feedback on how we can improve our videos and resources, please leave us a comment in the comment section below. Understanding normal blood sugar levels is crucial in managing health, especially for those with diabetes. These levels represent the optimal range of glucose in the bloodstream, which is necessary for proper bodily function. Keeping blood sugar within this healthy range is essential for preventing health complications and effectively managing diabetes. There are two primary methods to monitor blood sugar levels. Firstly, the A1C test. This test provides an average of a person's blood sugar over two to three months. It measures the percentage of hemoglobin in the blood that has glucose attached, known as glycated hemoglobin. Understanding how to complete an A1C test and interpret the results is essential for healthcare practitioners. Here's a quick step-by-step -step guide. Firstly, collecting the blood sample. A healthcare professional will collect a blood sample either from the patient's arm or finger during an appointment. Next, laboratory analysis. Once collected, the blood sample is sent to a certified laboratory for analysis. Receiving and reviewing the results. After the laboratory process, the patient will receive their A1C test results. Healthcare providers will review the results with the patient. Interpretation and diabetes management. Interpreting these results is key to managing diabetes. By understanding the A1C level, healthcare providers can work with the patient to make informed decisions about their long-term diabetes care. The second method to monitor blood sugar levels is self-monitoring of blood glucose. This method involves checking blood glucose levels throughout the day using a finger prick and a test strip. A blood sugar log can help identify patterns ensuring glucose levels stay within the target range specified by a healthcare provider. According to the ADA, the normal blood sugar ranges are A1C, less than 7%, EAG, estimated average glucose, less than 154 units, before a meal, 80 to 130 units, one to two hours after a meal, less than 180 units. How does our normal blood sugar levels chart template work? This tool is invaluable for both healthcare professionals and patients. It outlines target blood sugar ranges depending on the time of day and meals. By referencing these guidelines, healthcare professionals can determine whether a patient's blood sugar falls within the normal range. Here are the steps. Firstly, download the template. You can get the link from the description below or access the template through our Care Patron app. Explain how the chart works, outlining target blood sugar levels and when to test before and after meals. This is also a great opportunity to discuss lifestyle strategies for blood sugar control. Ask your patient questions about their current blood sugar levels, their daily meals, and lifestyle habits. Understanding their experiences and symptoms helps in interpreting their glucose levels. Analyze the patient's blood sugar using the A1C test results and the information they've shared about their routine. Develop lifestyle strategies for blood sugar management. This might include increasing physical activity, adjusting their diet, using medication, or monitoring their glucose levels through regular testing. If you'd like to see a sample of our normal blood sugar levels chart template, check out the example we've provided. And to explore more templates or learn how CarePatron can simplify your practice management, visit our website and sign up for free. If this video is helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out more of our content.